Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video. Today, I bring to you platforms that are parkour. I accidentally spawned in two, so this one might be a little glitchy. Um, so, place down my platforms. Build up, like, something for the player to walk on. Like this. Okay. And then I wait. Ah, yes! Yes! First try! First try! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, that's so good! That is literally so good! Dude, it's so hard to do that! Oh my gosh! I got it first! Try, dude. What the heck? How? Well, guys, I guess I got it first try. But yes, after hours and I mean hours of testing, I finally have some nice platform parkour. <laughs> It was very, very challenging to do this, but I made it. So, first of all, before we begin, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share this with your friends. Now, let me show you how this works. Okay, so we're going to start off with this part of commands. Now, you might see that there's a stone that's for a reason. Um, it's... I'll show you. So, basically what it does is it detects a cow because on Pocket Edition I'm used to a test for a command where you do like test for a ID, then you say something like type cow like this, you do that, and then it would, it would do that. So, on Pocket Edition you could do that, but I'm on Java Edition so it's not the same. So, I came up with this clever little thing. Basically, you just set this block, and you execute as. If you execute at, then it'll set the block there, so you'd have to put in precise coordinates, and that takes too long. So I did as, um, and then it sets that block to air. This immediately sets it back, but why does it set this block to air? So it will successfully run. I know I could have put a command in here, like I put a cut execute the cow and then run this and then if that works but the thing is this is super reliable but let's say there's some sort of malfunction and it's unable to summon the entity for some reason then it'll not do anything and so this is more reliable then it's unconditional so it has to set that block there which it does um it's always going to be able to do that Unless you spam a ton of them, and then it might miss one. But it's executing at the cow, then. It's summoning an arm stand. Um, I did H3 because the first one was high, and then this one's H4. This one is high. I decided, because this looks like H1. I, I don't know, okay? I, it's just how I numbered it. I didn't know what tags to give it. Okay? So, then, what it basically does is it summons an invisible armor stand that won't fall. And it has pass appearance of a shulker with no AI. So that your block, your platform block doesn't just start shooting shulker bullets at you. And it's also invulnerable. Um, this one, H4, someone's in armor stand, um, H4, so the first one and two are H1 and H, or H, I, H2, why did I number these so weirdly? I don't know. I should have probably just changed that to H1 if I was really sticking with that theme. But this one just summons an armor stand with the tag of H4, and it, um... And it has no gravity, so it doesn't fall. It's invisibles, and it has a falling block 
that, um, I don't know why I gave it invisibility. That doesn't even work. I don't know what I was doing, okay? Um, and it is a quartz block. And it has a time of one, and then just to make sure, this sets it back to one. I know it can't disappear on an armor stand, but whatever. Then after all the armor stand and stuff I summon, it kills the cow. So you might be like, okay, that's nice. It summons, that's basically just summoning in the platform, right? Kind of like what I did in my elevator video. And you might be like, oh, well, that's not very exciting. <laughs> because it can't actually move. Well... Then, we get into this next part, which, this part literally is just a timer, it just switches back and forth. All it's doing is adding the armor stand, it's, this has a tag of one, and I created the thing called T for some reason. I just put a random letter, I could have put X, I could have put anything. <laughs> so it's adding it, and if it, if it reaches 40, it'll set that block to air and set that block to redstone, and then it'll reset this, this thing's tag. So, now it resets this armor stand's tag. So, basically, it, if it reaches 40, it'll switch and reset this, this armor stand um, thing. And basically the same for this one. All it does is if it detects that, um, the thing gets to over 40, it'll switch. Um, set that block to air, set that block to redstone. Basically just a nice little timer I have switching the thing. It was just a short thing. Um, this part's the thing that actually does it. It, so hi, it doesn't really matter. All these are doing is, this one's teleporting, um, the pig, the armor stands that get, the armor stands with the stuff on their heads that got summoned by the pig, and teleporting them that way, and so the ones that got summoned by the cow that way, and then it literally just does the opposite here. On these ones, it makes the pig go that way, and that go that way. So, literally, all it's doing is swapping the way it teleports, so... Maybe it teleports this way, then it switches and teleports this way if I'm a cow. But maybe if I'm a pig, it teleports this way and then it switches and teleports this way. So, so I hope you guys enjoy it and maybe could use like the stuff I put here and see if you could try and replicate it and use it in your own thing. Um, and yeah, so maybe like make a map with it. Or something like that. I don't know. Okay, okay. this get video's getting way too long. So, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the best. Thank you for hopefully leaving a like, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing. If you haven't done that yet, though, then please do it. Um, thank you guys for being so great. And goodbye!